ladies and gentlemen we are back with another episode of the player career mode today kicking off a game against newcastle united who is currently in fourth place right below us and tied with tottenham on um, a couple less points than us but not much um we're currently in third but tied for second with manchester united just below on goal difference because for some reason this man right here and myself can't seem to find out how to score more goals. So um, we're still kind of in a growing stage for sure of not having Pepe in the squad. Me kind of taking more of an assister role, which to be fair, there's a lot of times where I probably could have scored a goal, but I decided to pass it instead. And sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. Um, so it's kind of just growing pains of me kind of taking, trying to take a backseat to Mbappe, but I think I'm taking a little too much of a backseat to Mbappe um, and just need to uh, allow him to thrive, but allow myself to really prosper as well. So we'll see how things go throughout the rest of the season, but this is a very big game against Newcastle. Not one that I thought would happen being a big game against Newcastle, but They've done well to build a very good team, in my opinion. The Longstaff brothers are probably also a big part of that, as they've gotten better over the years. <sighs> Medley freaking me out a little bit. Why are we doing that? Oh, okay. Okay. Ref, let's get that foul at the top of the box. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yellow card here. Sir, Sergi Dar Darder? Darde? Honestly, do we have a better right footed free kick taker here? Because I'm not good at these free kicks. Yeah, let's give that to Mbappe. This is like his sweet spot, should be. Hopefully. Give me that. Let's go, Mbappe. Let's go. I'm just going to take the ones on the right side of the field. I'm going to give the ones on the left side of the field to Mbappe because I'm so bad at curling those in to the top corner. I can do it whenever I'm going from middle of the box to the corner. But outside of the box into the corner, um, not, not my thing. Not my thing. But let's go, boy. Mbappe, fifth goal of the season for him in the Prem. A couple other goals and some other competitions as well. That's what we got him for, man. So that's one of those things, like, right there, usually I would just fully just take the free kick and not even think another, another second about it because I was the best free kick taker. But now that we have Mr. Mbappé, Killian is more than capable of those bad boys. 88 curve, man. Absolute beast. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was almost my fault. I fully shit the bet on defense right there. <laughs> it almost worked. It almost worked. Yes, he was still on side. Thank God. I was. I wanted that ball to get to my foot so much faster. We get another assist and Bappe with another goal. Like I said, man, we're just gonna we're gonna figure this thing out. And once we do, man. The goals are going to be flying in. Pulisic, pace is not his thing. He's a great player. Love that we signed him, but he's not a pacey player. But I can take that over for him. Get on that left side. Get a good cross in for Pulisic. Dubrovka tried to be the big man. Couldn't quite find a way to cover for the shot against Kylian Mbappe. 2-0 up. This could be huge for goal difference and pole position. Turn that, finesse that. Oh my God, what a shot. Let's go, baby. What an absolute goal right there, man. Let's go, baby. God damn. Turn that defender like it was nothing. Yoink. Just completely bodied him. Shrugged him off my shoulders, man. Look at all that space. Just me versus Dubrovka. Jesus Christ. Darder put his leg all the way up in the air. I don't know where he thought I was going with that shot. Let's go, boys. 3-0 up. First half. Let's get it. Now, we do have a midweek game in the cup. I may come out of this game. I don't know. I'm kind of having a good time here. 45th minute. We'll play, we'll play till the 60th. 
I was a little tired going into this game. That's my only worry. But I'll probably just take a little bit more of a back seat here in this second half. I'm not going to sprint as much. I'm just going to kind of uh, facilitate more. The problem is, is that that's basically what Declan and Torreira already do. So it really slows down our offense when I play like this. But Nice ball, Thavin. I know I said I wasn't going to sprint, but one more time. Let's go. Another assist. 4-1 up, and that's how we're going to come out of the game. Pulisic gets the goal. I know I said I wasn't going to sprint, and I actually managed to uphold that for the majority of the half, but I was getting bodied anyways by defenders, so like I was still losing a crap ton of stamina. But we get the goal for Pulisic. Two goals for Mbappe, one goal for myself, and one for Pulley. Perfect time to come out of the game. Request the sub. Dude, I really like this team, man. I'm so happy I went out and got them, dude. Just, just like those small things, man. Like the ability to be a player, but like request to have somebody come into the team changes everything. You know, Pez has it and it's one of the best things about Pez, honestly. So just the fact that I do have the cheat engine on PC and it allows me to do stuff like that is so, so good, dude. Cause like, imagine I was just stuck in this Arsenal team that really wasn't making offensive signings. I mean, they were only signing defenders. It was insane. We ended up winning that game 6-1, by the way. Two more goals after we came off. Watford and Fulham are going to be our next two games. Um, Watford and the Carabao Cup here in a couple days. So again, I'm, my stamina is probably going to be a little shoddy, but uh, should still be decent. We have six goals and nine assists currently this season, which is really, really good. Not too bad. Not too bad. Definitely could be worse. I was definitely running a little bit too much that game. But, I mean, it got us goals, so I'm not mad. Like, I'm never going to be, you know, mad at my gameplay style because I have a little bit lower stamina in the next game than our teammates. Because that, the, the pace really, you know, expands the game. It really does. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Man, I bit the inside of my lip the other day. I don't even remember how. But it hurt so freaking bad, dude. And it, like, still scarred in there. I was bleeding and shit. Alright, here we go. Watford's a team last season we... I don't want to say had trouble with. It was one of the teams that did slightly concern me for a decent part of the season, though. They were... They were on a hot streak for a while. I think we did end up dropping points to them once or twice. That defender tracked Mbappe so well. Pulisic didn't track Pulley though. Let's go, baby. Five minutes in, Pulisic gets a goal. We get another assist. Works out perfectly. Pulley running all the way to the coach. Oh no, just Nubel. Just Nubel, our backup keeper from last season while Leno was out. <laughs> he ran so far. He wasn't trying to celebrate with any of the active players. He was hyped to go hug Nubel, though. That's funny. That is funny. Dude, that defender, I don't even think he realized he was tracking Mbappe that well, but I could not get a pass into him right there. But it all ended up working out. Pulley made the run top of the box. And sometimes you just got to be patient enough to wait for that pass. Look at that room, dude. Look at all that space. Into Mbappe. Look at the pass, man. Slice the defenders. 2-0 up. Let's go, dude. I love this team. And I'm not saying, don't get me wrong, I am not saying that some of these goals wouldn't have happened last season. That we couldn't have gotten Pepe or... or, uh, or uh, Shoot, what's his name? Now I already forgot. Lammers. Uh, Lammers wouldn't get those goals. But the thing is, is that Mbappe is going to keep up with me pace-wise. We're going to torch the whole defense, and he's always going to be there. Whereas, I would have to wait a little bit longer for Lammers to come into that position right there. And that's the big difference, man. That's the big, big difference between having somebody of a pace. Not even just the ability of Mbappe, which obviously is a whole nother beast in himself. But just having the pace of Mbappe. Having that ability up top is just game-changing. It's why I worked so much better with Eddie last season. 
Uh, but Eddie wasn't a natural born goal finisher either. I mean, he is, but you know, just wasn't at that level that we needed him to be um, to really be pushing for uh, the championship, top four, you know, Champions League, winning Europa League, things of that nature. So we had to bring somebody else in, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, Tommy. Oh. Oh no. Boys. Nice tackle. Good shit, Medley. Good shit, Medley. End of the first half. Corner opportunity. I have a 9.0 rating, so I'm totally fine with coming out of this game. The two assists. A couple good passes here and there. Horrible tackling. That's okay. That's the end of the half. Give me that ball. Let's go, boys. 2-0. I'm sure they're going to win this game. I'm going to go ahead and come out of it just to hold my stamina. Make sure we're staying healthy throughout the season. We don't want to get injured at all. At all. So, let's see. Let's make sure we won this game. 6-0. They scored four more goals in the second half. Chelsea and Spurs. Chelsea won on PKs. I can't believe they played each other in round four. That is insane. Um, Blackburn beat Huddersfield. Everton beat Barnsley on PKs. Holy crap. Liverpool beat Derby or Derby on 5-0. Uh, five, five no. uh, Man City beat Stoke on PKs. Good lord, guys. Uh, Newcastle beat Bristol. Man U beat West Brom. Okay, okay. Some pretty good teams still left in it. Cannot believe they had to play each other first uh, or fourth round. Chelsea and Spurs. Looks like we're playing Liverpool. Let's double check that in the calendar. Is that really in December though? Where was that game at? Yeah, December. Wow. Okay, so Carabao Cup, we're going to be playing against Liverpool. That is an ugly schedule right there. Leicester and then Europa League. Brighton, Hoven Albion. Uh. Liverpool and then Wolves the games aren't hard. It's just a lot of games in that period Which is a bit unfortunate, but that is where we're gonna end it for this episode Actually what I want to do what I want to check really quick is how many goals does Mbappe have so far because obviously we haven't seen all of his goals He has six Pulley has five um, Mbappe has six and I have four and they have two more appearances in me. So that's cool I have seven assists so far Mbappe has three Pulley has one um, okay, not bad. Let's see. I want to see the, not the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup. Mbappe has three. Aurier has one. Pulley has one. Ginduzi and Willick and Salisu also have one. Okay, decent, decent. And then let's just check player stats for the season. Harry Kane is currently top goal scorer with 11 goals in 11 games. Along with Mo Salah and Chelsea have two players in the top four Ocampos and Milik both in the top four Liverpool also have Mane in the top five um, And then there's Mbappe with six Pulley has five and then I have four so I mean we're still doing good with goals We could just do, be doing a lot better um, The more we start to unlock the true potential of Mbappe and Pulisic and Thauvin and myself the better off Obviously, we're gonna be we're going to continue trying to get there in the next episode. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Is it my fault?